Hey guys, it's Delicracy here and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 4 Vampires Part 1. Yay, I'm excited for this Let's Play. I actually am releasing this one week or about a week after the brand new Sims 4 Vampire game pack dropped. So thank you to those of you who have actually been patiently waiting and asking me, when is it coming out? Uh, yeah, I, I have been a little bit slower than usual to bring it out but it's kind of nice to, to be separate to that rush of creators trying to get out the Let's Play. Uh, I think I'm gonna enjoy like taking our time to explore and unravel these characters. Uh, I think it's going to be a very interesting Let's Play indeed. So we're actually going to be bringing this Let's Play back to basics. The last few Let's Plays I've done, I've actually pre-planned out the storyline and I'm excited for this one to strip it back to basics and just have our characters and episode by episode explore these character storylines explore how this new sims 4 game pack works and i'm excited to take on your feedback from your comments and uh see where you want these uh characters to go within their lifespan and what we want to do with them so be sure to comment give the feedback i'm so excited to read your creativity and imagination so uh yeah yeah Anyways, before we get started, I just want to say uh, briefly who I am in case any newcomers have come to this Let's Play. My name is Deligracy. Uh, my real name is Maddie, and I'm known on YouTube for making mostly Sims content, although I, I love making lifestyle videos, and I also live stream a few other games on Twitch. And I am Australian, if you can't already tell from my accent, and I live in Melbourne, Australia. Uh, but anyways, without further ado... Let's get started. So this is my first character here. Her name is Elvira Didrode. And I don't know if I've said that right, Didrode. I just, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, she is a very beautiful looking Sim, maybe more of a stereotypical looking vampire, arguably. And uh, I kind of wanted her to look a very sexy, you know, very sexy and beautiful, like she could probably seduce her prey uh, to get blood from them. So her personality is quite interesting because she is flirty or romantic. Uh, she's evil as well. And... She's jealous, so if anyone flirts with her husband, Dante, who I'll introduce you to soon, uh, she's she gets really unhappy about that. But she's a total hypocrite because her aspiration is to be a serial romantic. This sim wants to play the field and go on dates with all sorts of interesting people. So that's kind of her, I suppose, way of preying on human sims, uh, seducing them to then get blood from them. Uh, so yeah, or plasma is what the sims call it, not blood, plasma. Now, another interesting thing about her is that if we go over here to her gen gender customization, uh, she is not able to become pregnant. She can't have kids. And the reason why I did this was I was a little bit inspired by Twilight, by the fact that uh, female vampires can't give birth usually. And I kind of wanted to bring that into my gameplay. Uh, so part of the reason why she's a serial romantic is because she actually resents her husband. He's the one who transformed her into a vampire because when he transformed her into a vampire, he actually took from her the ability to create life. So in a way, her way of being romantic or serial, serial romantic makes her feel like she's getting closer to that feeling of love and passion and creating life. But at the same time, she feels punished by him and by doing so, she can punish him back. So she's, she's a very twisted character. Uh, so she's always wanted a, wanted a little girl of her own. Uh, I wonder if she'll find a way to get that during gameplay. Anyways, if we go into her vampire form, woo, look at that. I love this dress and this hair, it's so cool. Uh, she's got definitely a red theme going here and each vampire I've created, their everyday form gives a little bit of a hint for what their dark form looks like. So she's got the cracks on the cheek in her everyday form, and then she's got a lot of cracks on her cheek in her dark form. So that's kind of cool. Now her husband, uh, Dante, who was responsible for changing her into a vampire, he, his aspiration is to be a master vampire. He loves knowledge and power. So he's a genius. He's hot-headed, you know, he wants... He wants what 
he he like what he puts his mind to he gets it okay and he's also very ambitious as well which will hopefully help him get to the master vampire aspiration and or to complete that aspiration rather and he found his wife Elvira he was on the search for a soulmate to help him uh, bring up a pack of vampires to become a master vampire uh, he found her when she was very sick as a human and bargained with her to transform her to give her eternal life if she would be his his wifey and uh he actually left out the fact she wouldn't be able to have kids so that's why she's not very happy with him uh this is his dark form and i love him he's such a cool dude with his dreadlocks and his earring and i just think this plum suit is so dark yet I don't know, very stylish in an old school way with his top hat. So I really like that. And he has the white, the white, white eyes uh, and kind of dripping mascara. So he's pretty cool. And uh, he also has a little bit of eyeshadow on in his uh, everyday form and a few cracks on his faces as well and uh, little baggies under the eyes. So they found uh, Harlow as a girl to transform another sick girl uh who they gave i suppose never-ending life to she's very beautiful uh and you know what her aspiration is to be a good vampire she doesn't re she never really wanted to be a vampire she just so happened to be changed and uh she she really wants to be a good person in the world so she's cheerful she uh happens to love the outdoors which is a real shame because vampires can't spend much time in the light and what i want to do as we gain powers uh we are going to also have to pick weaknesses and her weaknesses are going to be that the severity of her burning in the sunlight is going to get worse and worse so she loves the outdoors but she can't go out very often which is sad and she's also a vegetarian so she's trying her best not to eat plasma uh, from humans so that's her she's got pretty dark under eyes and yeah she's a fiery redhead with porcelain white skin I think she's beautiful and uh, I love 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 her dark vampire form how cool is this with her red hair and this vintage dress which actually didn't come with the sims 4 vampire pack i just love this dress it came with uh get together and i just thought that was too perfect for her uh and she loves wearing chokers so i'm hoping that we get more chokers in the game because uh, i really like her style uh and this hair actually came from the sims 4 get together too i believe yeah um so that's kind of cool. She's wearing the nude boots as well that lace up at the back. So that's pretty awesome. Oh, and her formal wear. Uh, I think her vampire formal wear is one of my faves. Uh, where is it? This. I love this. I think she looks so cool. And then her everyday formal wear. Check this out, you guys. Isn't that pretty? And the light blue dress with the orange hair. Oh, so she does wear a bit of her vampire dark form hair with her everyday formal wear. And I think she looks so pretty. Uh, I also didn't really show you guys the other outfits. But um, yeah, she's got a few other ones here. Uh, she probably won't be swimming that often. <laughs> Anyways, and then uh, her brother, adopted brother, is Blade. Honey, <laughs> can anyone say honey? I think he is so gorgeous and his aspiration is to have a vampire family. So he wants to find a lady to be part of his family. Uh, he is active. So as he gains more vampire power, he, we're going to give him the ability of like the speed running and the um, strength, super strength. So he's very self-assured, very confident, very active. And uh, we are going to find him a lady to transform, I think. Or maybe a vampire. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, he's a... Uh he is so attractive in my opinion. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is his vampire form. Is this his everyday outfit? No, this is his everyday outfit. Look at him. Look at him in those pants and the boots and that vest thing. It's so old school. I love this little skull thing on there. And he is badass. Uh, his hair turns ash gray and he's got 
these uh, scratches on his eyes and cracked face. I think he looks so cool. And uh, he he doesn't actually use the new hair from the Vampire Stuff Pack. I wasn't actually a huge fan. I felt like the hair was a little much on him. I don't know. I know some of you guys will like it, but I actually preferred him to be a little bit more stripped back uh, for his hairdo. And a few other clothes, you know, he wears the big trench for his formal wear. Athletic wears pretty athletic. Oh, I love this. This is from The Sims 4 City Living. Uh, so I have mixed up a few of the packs. Uh, I'll also quickly show you guys uh, a couple of the other outfits for these guys. Love this. Oh, the Kaz items in this game pack are pretty amazing. I uh, just sleeps in his jockeys. And uh, Elvira. Let's see what Elvira wears. Uh, so this is her formal wear. I thought that was pretty good to be seducing uh, some Sims in her workout wear. She looks pretty good at the gym. She wears this amazing <laughs> robe. And oh, look at this. Look at the stockings for a party wear and the long gloves. She is so... Uh, oh, she's, I love her. I just think making vampires was so much fun. Uh, and then this... I think is really cool. Oh, do we want it in red? Does it look better in red? Ooh, we might have to change it. Actually, no, I like this. It looks more of like a cor corpse bride type of thing. And this is everything in red. That is just, I can't even, I just love that. So yeah, I had a lot of fun in cats. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys their mansion house. Alrighty, so way, way, way up on, on top of the hill, uh, we have their, old mansion that's very overgrown in a way very run down and creepy uh and I actually did a speed build of this so I'll be sure to link that in the description down below uh but yeah this is a very overgrown old house it's meant to have totally creepy feels about it and <laughs> I just you know if I walked up to this I'd be scared would you guys be scared I would probably not want to knock on the front door but hey it's still a kind of cool build. I would like to do a build where I do it up and see what it would look like. Uh, all nice, light and bright. Uh, so it's got some interesting architecture to it. Uh, I quite enjoyed making this as unique as I could to my other builds. Uh, but if we go down, oh, and I love that llama sitting up there in the archway, but I'll give you guys a little bit of a tour. So if we go down here, oh, don't you love how those uh, bushes sway? Those dead rose bushes, so creepy. Oh, that makes me wanna go see Beauty and the Beast. So we have a little bit of a uh, steaming river down here. Let's go through the double front doors. So this is the foyer. Uh, we have, whoops, um, a very red looking foyer, double height, double windows. If we want to go up the staircase a little bit, um, that'll hopefully give you guys a better view of where you enter. So this is it, lots of cobwebs, um, very rich, very wealthy. I'm sure they've accumulated a lot of money over the years because vampires in The Sims 4 do live forever. Uh, we also have a lounge room upstairs on the landing with like an old boat and stuff. But if we go down here, I'll take you guys through the house for the grand tour. So we've got two metal armor dudes there. We've got a portrait of maybe the master vampire who died tragically in the human versus vampire war in the ninth, in the 18th, 17th, 16th century or something. <laughs> Love the little gas heater here, but this is the dining area. Lots of weird bits and bobs and shiny looking things. Uh, if we go through this door, we have a small kitchen. Of course, they don't cook very often. Uh, although I'm sure Harlow would love to cook more. They've got some weird pickled things around the place and a cookbook that probably doesn't have what you'd think is a normal recipe in there. So that's what we've got there. Out here we've got a little bit of a balcony. Um, yeah, quite pretty. Looks out onto some nice gravestones. And then in here, this is the formal lounge room. So we've got lots of green in here. Uh, we've got an organ in the corner little shiny thing there with the King Llama on it. And perhaps this was Dante's uh, predecessor, father. Uh, we've also got a nice lady there whose dress might've been handed down to Harlow. I'm not sure, maybe that was Harlow's mom or something, uh, which is kind of fun. If we go upstairs, wee, up we go. 
Uh, this is the second floor and we have a couple of bedrooms up here. This is Harlow's bedroom. Uh, she has an all purple bedroom with some nice flowers and things. I tried to make this room look grand, but also somewhat friendly. So she's got a nice old school bed there and a beautiful balcony that you can come out to here with like a little fountain and stuff. I hope that she has her first kiss out there. <laughs> Meets a nice human boy who she wishes she could be with, uh, who she tries to protect her vampire appearance from for as long as possible. This is the master bedroom, so uh, her parents can keep a close eye on her. They want her to be a bad vampire, but uh, she's not like them, so they're probably wanting to make sure that she doesn't get involved with any humans. In here they have a nice master bathroom um, with one of those old school toilets. Halo also has a bathroom in here, which we'll have a quick look at. So using the new tiles and objects in here, uh, that's pretty nice and grand looking. She also has a robe. Now, if we go upstairs, Blade's room is up here, so he gets a little bit of extra privacy. He's got this top floor to himself, the lucky boy. Uh, so, yeah, we've got a piano up here, through here. Oh, he's having a party in his room. This is a hangout room for the fam. I was wondering when we'd run into them, uh, but he has lots of sporty goods. He loves sport. He wants to be the strongest vampire ever. And surprise, surprise, his room is a very strong red color. Uh, so this is where he's going to bring back his ladies and work out and be the strongest he can be. So he has a red and black bathroom. Uh, so everyone's hanging out in there. I love the new plum bobs, how they have that circling uh, thing on them. In here, uh, we have Elvira, who's just gone into the master office area. So this is where they can study vampirism, do all that good stuff. Uh, we have a balcony out here so they can watch over the town and check what new prey is walking up their driveway. We might even get some uh, sims to be like slaves or something. Uh, hide them in the dungeon and enslave them because I think that's a vampire reward as well. They can also go up here to the top of the house uh, where they can get an even better view. But there is a secret basement which we're going to go down to. Uh, okay, so down here, this is the front door. We also have another balcony just around the corner. Whee! Uh, where there's this creepy fountain lady, like a half-submerged, drowning woman. <laughs> creepy or what? She's just having a bath. It's all good. But if we go down these stairs here, we will go to a... Oh, we can't go down to the basement. Hold on, hold on. Hold up for a second. Down we go, down we go. Ah, here we go. So this is the basement. Uh, this is where they can actually sleep, or hibernate rather, to bring back... I'll bring or replenish their vampire powers because I'll show you in a second there's a new UI so yeah they have vampire powers so these are their coffins that they sleep in over there is the daughters this is Elvira's here so the two girls on that side and then we have Dante's dark coffin there and Blade's uh, red coffin there so I kind of wanted to color coordinate them and they also have you know a few spots to sit and stuff like that so that's pretty much the grand house tour that's where we're gonna be living I really want to make a second basement and get human slaves uh, maybe that's Dante's like aim uh, but in terms of the new UI we have uh, needs so we have vampire energy that needs to be replenished quite a bit actually during gameplay uh, so they need to sleep or do dark meditation. So we might actually need to buy some meditation blocks. Uh, this is their thirst. So they are going to need to get some plasma fruit or uh, plasma ordered, or they're going to have to find prey. Uh, and from getting prey, they will gain power points or from doing vampire activities, and they will get closer in doing so to their rewards, vampire rewards. Uh, so yeah. That's pretty interesting. So they're, they're doing okay. They still have fun and social needs. Uh, so we still need to take care of them in that way. But I think what we'll do is, um, I think we should work on Dante first because he really, really, really wants to get to a master vampire. So I think what we're gonna do is, maybe I'm gonna get a little bit thirsty soon. I think that, 
Elvira is starting to get a bit thirsty. So what we might do is go out hunting. I think we should go out and hunt some prey. Uh, so maybe let's travel to a different world and see if we can, you know... Oh, that's the new world as well that we just saw then, but we'll explore that more. Maybe let's head to the city. Let's maybe go to the park and find some sims to prey on. I don't think Harlow is going to be very keen on sucking life out of sims <laughs> but uh i think she could fall in love with a sim might be keen on a sim or try and make friends with sims and i would say her family especially her brother will try and ruin that so it is sunlight they are burning up a storm so maybe they are best off going inside and just hoping that some sims come their way so let's go in here together uh, their vampire energy is very low. It just went down very quickly from being out in the sunlight. Uh, so that's what will happen. They need to be indoors or I'll say if it goes too low, they can't actually prey on anyone. And it looks like there's not a lot of sims around inside. So we might have to... Oh, we can't call over. Hmm. You know what? Maybe we have to go to a club or something because I feel like there's no sims spawning here. I don't know if that's a lot type that was a bad choice or what, but... Oh, well. oh, maybe we can go to the gym. There's all... Oh, it's like super fit people have more... Their heart pumps blood and oxygen around their body more quickly. So therefore, maybe they go to the gym because they can... They can uh, get some better tasting plasma. Maybe that's what they do. All right, can everyone come inside? <laughs> I think uh, we might uh, get Blade to start working out because, you know, he's into that. Oh, okay. Let's uh, get Dante to maybe... Who's this chick? Darling. Let's get this guy. Oh, Marcus Flex would have some good blood in him. All right, maybe let's do a bit of a friendly introduction or do we just want to go straight to the drink plasma? Mm, we're not going to ask for permission. I think we'll just go straight for the kill. Straight for the kill. It won't kill him, but we'll just go straight for it. He won't like us very much, I don't think. Uh, he's not going to be very secretive about this either. I mean, look, Marcus has just gone straight up to him. It's his fault. <laughs> oh, what? What? No. Quickly, quickly. Vampire. Drink plasma. Compel for a big drink and we might actually get Elvira to drink plasma and compel for a deep drink oh my god he goes into his dark form Ooh. oh my god oh my god poor Marcus Fletch maybe we should be a little bit more stealthy about this maybe a little bit more secretive would help because they're just like, just going for it in public. We're probably going to get hunted down. Because you can hunt vampires as well and kill them. So that's going to be another interesting aspect to the Let's Play as well. Uh, if they're not more careful about who they drink from, you never know, they might be hunted down. Hey, are you friends with us? Oh god. Oops, the daisies. I guess once we get stuck, you know what we should do? We should lock the gym door. Can we do that? Oh, we can't lock doors on lots. This is really awkward. I feel like we should get to every sim. <laughs> I think I think uh, I think that's what we should do. So then we don't leave any anyone alive or awake to to maybe I don't know go to the police and arrest us. Quickly, everyone, drink some plasma. Meanwhile, Harlow doesn't want to take part. She's like trying to make friends with. Paolo, Paola, or whatever his name is, Paolo. See, they don't like us. He's like, oh my God, vampires are after me. She's like, I'm not gonna hurt you. <laughs> uh, drink plasma. Now that was some sweet, sweet plasma. I'll definitely be coming back for more. Oh, Bella Goff got the good plasma. And this guy. I don't know if he's a little bit dazed or whatever. I think, Blade, you need to uh, quickly quickly go for this guy and hopefully we won't leave any any traces that we've been here. Hopefully no one else walks in because if anyone else walks in, then they're going downtown too. Oh, God, quickly go to this guy. 
He's gonna report us! Oh no, we can't. I guess they'll be too scared to report us. Alright! Look! We're going up a lot. Our thirst is pretty well replenished, although Harlow's thirst is not doing too well, so I don't know what she's gonna want to do. Um, but let's see if we can do a friendly introduction and see what he thinks. Does he absolutely hate us or is there... Okay, he's being nice. Maybe they forget after they've been, after they've been drunk from. <laughs> oh my gosh. So crazy. Another thing we can do is if we head back, we can actually duel and battle powers and we can slay another vampire if we want to. So that's going to be kind of cool as well. I mean, I'm so excited. So let's head back home. Uh, we won't enslave any Sims yet. We're going to wait until we can actually get those extra points to make them slaves. And maybe we can make money that way. Maybe our slaves can just paint paintings downstairs and we can just keep selling their paintings. So we get richer and richer and richer until the vampire hunters come or something like that. Okay, so they, they did pretty well. I think uh, they're a little bit tired. They are a little bit tired. Uh, but if we go down here into the main square, where hopefully there are other vampires as well, uh, there's also some really cool bird animation too, and they're actually going to come up to the letterbox, I think, and sit on the letterbox and sit on the fences, which I thought was pretty amazing. Oh no, he's followed us back? Bajorn! I know that's not how I say his name, but I call him Bajorn anyway. Let's see if we can uh, battle a little bit. <laughs> Declare e eternal art. Ask to turn. Already a vampire. What other options do we have here? Request vampire training. They're not at the correct rank. Friendly. Brood about being a vampire. What other options do we have? Gossip about ain't. Ancient ones. Discuss plasma flavors. Mmm, Bella Goth was particularly delicious. Show off powers. Vampire spa. Here we go. Sparring, not slaying. What did I say before? I don't even know. Let's watch them practice. Because we want them to get really good. Is this a... Is there a... Mm, that's a wolf spleen tree. We need to look. She's going to get really, really hungry if she doesn't find a tree. So in the next part, we're going to have to look for a tree for her to grow. Maybe she can get good at gardening and herbalism. All right, we're going to spa. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so this is a friendly inter interaction. This isn't them fighting, fighting. This is more them training. And then they're going to gain some vampire points from this. Woo! Damn, girl. She's like, good job. Totally beat you then. <laughs> Maybe we'll uh, try and fight the son, seeming that the wifey, wifey beat him. Ooh, ah, a new child of the night. As an elder vampire, it is my honor to welcome you to our family. Your new thirst for plasma takes some getting used to. Remember... Thirst can be uncomfortable, but it won't kill you. Here are some plasma. Oh, no. No. Wait, is that in notifications? Where'd he go? Aw. We lost him. Oh, well. I want, I want these guys to, to spa friendly. Yeah, Lecture about sunlight. Oh, and they still have to go to school too. Or well, maybe we can't spa. Discuss plasma flavors. Offer advice. Show of powers. We can do that. Let's see what they can do. And I wonder if this is increasing powers at all. Hey! That was kind of cool. <laughs> you can also read books too to up your vampire powers. Neato. All right, and I think we have three power points, so we can already get some stuff. Uh, so we can detect personality. We can go into bat form. We can 
cast hallucination, make another sim talk to themselves, internally welcome, gain the power to lock and unlock doors at other sims' homes. I like that. Use less vampire energy. Let's maybe select... Oh, actually, I want to save his points for some better things, but maybe we'll get Elvira to be able to go into bat form. Oh, and then we can do a bat woohoo, actually. Ooh! I love the sound effects. Okay, let's pick bat form for you. And we will take weaknesses, but we don't have to yet. So that's okay. Yay! So we'll be able to fly here as a bat now. Let's watch it. Oh my god! Yay! So awesome. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to leave this first part right here. This was just an introduction part. We'll get more into uh, nutting out a storyline uh, from the second part onwards. But let me know what you think. Do you like the characters? What can you see the characters doing? Uh, <laughs> this is going to be a lot of fun, I think. Anyways, I hope you are having... Oh my God, so typical Blade. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.